cooking in Vintage Story is a far more efficient use of food resources, even in the early game, than simply roasting over an open fire or eating foods raw. By preparing meals in the cooking pot over a fire, you can increase the nutritional benefits of the ingredients, allow you to preserve your foods for long-term storage, and also prevent the waste of food by limiting your intake to only what you need in the moment. To begin cooking, you'll need at least one bowl, one pot, and a fire. Right-click the fire to open the fire pit menu and drop in the pot, opening the four cooking slots. Ingredients can be placed in these slots to create various meals. Cooking is relatively straightforward, but there are two basic rules that can confuse new players when first interacting with the mechanic. The first rule is that all meals are defined by what is placed in the first two slots. Meat stews are made by placing meat into the first two slots. Vegetable stews are made in the same fashion. Porridge is made using grain, and soup is made using one liter of water, which you can add by right-clicking to fill a bowl, left-clicking it into the pot, and a vegetable. And scrambled eggs are made with two eggs. You cannot mix and match these first two ingredients, or nothing will be created as a result. However, any other ingredients can be added into the last two slots. These ingredients are considered garnishes. As an example, here you can see cabbage soup with fish and carrot, or meat stew with mushrooms, rice porridge with cabbage, porridge with berries, carrot soup with meat, meat with boiled eggs, and so on and so forth. The second rule is that ingredients must be used in equal proportions. You cannot make an all-meat stew if one of the slots has one less or one more than all of the rest, for example. Or here, there are two liters of water, but one portion of vegetable. Either one liter of water must be lost, or an additional veggie needs to be added. When you're finished cooking, you can grab a bowl and right-click the pot to eat straight from it. But it's a better idea to use a crock pot, which can then be stored and pulled from when needed. It's worth noting that if your player does not need a full portion of food to be satisfied, he will not eat all of the food in the bowl unlike if he consumes raw ingredients. The crock pot holds up to four full portions of food and provides a very slight reduction to the rate at which food spoils. Let's talk about food preservation for a brief moment. The purpose of this series is to provide a step-by-step -step logical instruction on various mechanics, so I will only touch on the food preservation methods applicable at this level of technology. By taking a piece of fat, or beeswax from a hive you may have foolishly destroyed. More on how to properly harvest bees later. You can seal a crock, reducing the rate at which it spoils by 10 times. The storage vessel is not just the step up from the rather expensive and cumbersome reed basket, but is also a unique quality of reducing food spoilage rates when stored in a cellar. A cellar is a special type of room that negates the effects of climate on food storage as they always have a fixed temperature of 5 degrees. While this does mean that the cellar provides no benefit when the outside temperature is below 5 degrees, the stability of the cellar still makes it an ideal location for food storage. A properly built cellar with storage vessels can reduce the spoilage of vegetables by up to 75% and 50% for grain. To build a cellar, you only need to create a room which follows the following rules. The room must be made out of dirt, stone, or ceramic blocks only, with the exception of a single door. There must be very little or no natural sunlight allowed into the room. Artificial light, like oil lamps, crafted with a piece of fat in a bowl, or torches, are fine. The room cannot be any larger than 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven blocks in size. You can check the spoilage rates of foods inside of a vessel by looking at the object. A rate of 1 is the normal spoilage speed. Anything lower means slower, and anything higher means faster. If you don't want to or don't have a door, you can always seal up your cellar with soil as well. There are several other means of preparing food, but for now, without the use of metal tools, we will have to leave off here. In the next video, I will discuss finding copper and producing your first metal tools.